all right so we're good to go uh, press the up arrow key on your keyboard so you can have this now we're gonna do that we're looking at the, our table names we're gonna do that for the rows table all right so we go to this place and then oops we do rows then the the model is supposed to be row hit enter so once we have it on enter it generates it after that we are going to generate for the ref levels these ref levels here so now the rows have been created the row files have been created let's go and check our app and see what will happen so keep your eye right here you will see that um, the users field is there but if we reload we'll see that it will add another um, you see it has added another menu here that is roles so if we click on roles first of all we'll see the list of roles we've not created any roles yet and then secondly if we click on add new um, it's just gonna work out we we'll say the name of the first role is admin that's the highest role anybody can occupy so admin is created you see so if you click on roles now you will see that admin now exists with controls to view to edit and to delete that is beautiful if I click on delete it does a pop-up for me this is awesome so I click on add new role again the next role we're gonna add is moderator remember moderator hit enter then the last one is user so depending on how many roles you want to add in your application see we can add endless roles all right okay so now we understand what roles are if i click on edit you will see um that you can edit the role you see i can i can edit the role so this saves us a lot of time okay see you in the next video where we actually run migration for ref levels